did 10 two minute rounds with a 20 second break in between. Um, there's a few exercises in here for Ellie and Karen. Karen, there's some in here that will be good for your lower back. Ellie, uh, there's some in here which are a surprise for you. Um, anyway, we'll start with our nugget. We did. Find as Karen. So I find the best way is to start in a kneeling position. Grab the top and the bottom handle of the nugget. Straight leg forward, duck under the nugget, look up, get the nugget onto your shoulders, kneel down again, and let it roll off your shoulders. That's not how you would do a full fireman's carry with a person, but this is just a good way to do it with the nugget. So, handles, step, under, look up, kneel down again, and let it roll off your shoulders. Next station was the torsonator. So you can have it with an empty bar, which is still 20 kilos, or you can add some weight to it, but you've got to think you're doing two minute rounds. So what we do want is you want to be straight on to the bar and stiff arms and turning from side to side. So you want good contact with the ground and pivoting and pushing with your feet, rotating through your core. That's the torsonator. Okay, these next few are for, you, uh, for Karen and Ellie, um, but it is what we did today. So deadlifts with the kettlebell. So you want your feet just wide enough for the kettlebell to fit through. And as you're doing the deadlift, your thumb goes back. So your shoulders should stay in alignment with your knees. Your knees bend because your bum's going back. Your bum doesn't go back because your knees are bending. It should be more like this. Which is more like the squat. You want your bum to go back. And because of that, your knees will bend. You want a straight back. And you should finish, depending on your flexibility, with your back parallel to the floor. And stand up. Back down. Up and down. When you stand up, you want to thrust your hips forward. You do see some people going like that with the, when they stand up in a uh, deadlift. No, that's more like a kettlebell swing. You just want to make sure that you're standing up straight. And to do that, make sure you catch your butt and your hips will go forward slightly. And we've got windmill. So press the kettlebell above your shoulder. You've got one foot forward. I'll do this on the line. You've got one foot forward, one foot out to the side. And you're going to bend at the hips, keeping your arms straight above your shoulders. So bend at the hips. And then up. Bend. I think everyone's seen kettlebell swings before, so I won't go into too much detail for that. Our next station was wrist and ankle weights. So wrist weights. You just did front kick, side kick, and back kick. So, 
Medicine bone on your chest, sit up. Lay your flat on your back, bring the bowl over your head, touch the ground, then back up. 